All right, YouTube. So today's video, uh, a little bit different. Uh, the topic is uh, kind of exciting. We have a brand new sensor from Apple, and uh, it's actually a sensor that they've made, uh, a camera sensor uh, that can uh, expose or produce about 20 stops of dynamic range, which is pretty incredible. Uh, up until now, uh, the best sensor is right around 15, 16. Um, it's considered pretty good, right? Uh, most of them hover around between 12 and 14, but this one happens to be 20. Um, now, is this going to be something that's going to be native, you know, 20 stops of dynamic range, or is this going to be accompanied by uh, highly specialized software uh, to be able to, you know, get the 20 stops of dynamic range out of this sensor? It's incredible because it's going to sort of change the face of how we see things from a photography perspective. Um, 20 stops gets even closer to what a human eye can actually see. Um, that's a lot closer than, you know, 15, 16, for example. Um, having said that, now, how good is it? No one knows yet until they actually release it, right? Um, if they do put it into a iPhone or iPhone type of device, uh, and or even make their own cameras, um, would you be buying one? Um, the reason why I'm having this conversation is because um, many of you know that today iPhones have actually been um, or are being used as um, photographic and filmmaking tools. Uh, there are some you know, productions that are actually shot entirely on the iPhone. Um, so the phone is very capable of doing these things. Now, does that mean that you know, in the future, things are going to become more and more streamlined as far as the workflow when it comes to that. Most likely. Today, it's already there because on uh, the new iPhones, it's all USB-C. You can hook up a hard drive to it. You can, you know, go to town with it, no problem. Uh, and continue to record ProRes and all these other things that you can do, which are professional codecs inside of a phone. So if you had a sensor that could do 20 megapixel, uh, sorry, 20 stops of dynamic range. Um, that's pretty incredible on the level of uh, information, light gathering information uh, that could be captured onto a device like a phone, for example, if that's where they plan to put it. Um, I think it's going to give uh, companies like Sony, Canon, um, and you know, some a couple of the other sensor manufacturers something to think about because um, if they can bring 20 steps of dynamic range onto the mainstream uh, you know uh, consumer um, on a device like a phone it changes the game quite a bit so if we're lusting over trying to just get 15 steps of dynamic range out of your sensors you know uh, without the right lighting and things like that and again obviously with 20 stops it's going to be the same thing you're going to have to write lighting and all of those things there shot correctly with this light that light all this stuff right without that it's not going to all come together so with that you know we need to think about these things uh you know as as sort of we move forward mobile photography is a real thing mobile cinematography is a real thing um like the final cut app that's on on here um for our video purpose uh on on the iphone leica has their own photographic type of app uh, now for the iPhone. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have it for Android too, but just check, you know, if, you, if you're using Android, just check whatever. I'm just, it doesn't apply just to the iPhone, but this particular video is more about the 20 stops of dynamic range in the sensor. What are your thoughts below? Would you buy something like that? Let's say the phone is $2,000, but it gave you 20 stops of dynamic range. Um, would that be something that would be on your radar to 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 want to pick up um, and, uh, you know, be able to use that as a, as a tool for, for sort of what you're trying to do. Um, I am continuously actually trying to improve sort of the production of what I'm doing here. Um, I think I've gotten it into a pretty decent spot now where it looks good. It feels good. It's easy to sit here and make these videos and reduce the amount of shadows and all kinds of things falling here and there. Uh, so I'm making a collective effort. Come with me on the journey. And I think uh, what we will find is uh, all the tools at the end of the day 
don't really so much matter. Lighting, technique, all these other things are going to make a very big difference into your final output of everything that you produce. So whether it's an iPhone, whether it's a, you know, a, a Sony FX camera, or whether it's a production camera, um, one of the really big ones, a Venice or F55 like this one, um, it doesn't really matter. It really matters whether you are in control of sort of what you're producing. The more in control that you are, rather than trying to just do stuff run and gun, I think your production quality is going to go up. A lot of footage that you see of the run and gun, there's huge shifts in how the footage looks across the board, especially if there's a longer video or a production. Um, so if you're doing that, keep that in mind. Light the things correctly do the right things and what you will see is the output will be better now using the iphone you know especially if if, if it's an iphone uh with a 20 20 with 20 stops of dynamic range i mean that would be mind-blowing absolutely mind-blowing by the way there's someone at the door um if they did that um i think it's yeah, I hate using the word, but, you know, it, it could be a game changer uh, for the sensor industry. So with that, leave your comments below. I think Apple's hit it out of the park and they're really challenging the status quo um, and uh, super excited to see what they do with it. Um, and the implementation of the product is the game. Just like Sony, they innovated a lot of things, but they, you know, got lucky with some of the things, how they rolled out, but they had a lot of failures too. So hopefully Apple doesn't take this type of technology and not really follow through with it with careful thinking and thought behind the strategy on how they roll it out. If they really think through it and do that, I think they might have a incredible winner on their hands and maybe they might be able to supply that to uh, a lot of the camera brands uh, and put that sensor in their smaller cameras and be able to produce pretty incredible little things for us. Uh, that would be great. Can you imagine a pocket camera with you know, 20 stops of dynamic range that you can actually take out there, especially if you don't want to use your cell phone. Could be, could be an option for you. So leave your comments below. Like, subscribe, be nice to each other, go out there, create your magic, and I will talk to you in the next one. Thank you.